Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, these, this is Freak of Monster horror colouring book for adults. Um, this is a new artist that I've found on Amazon while scrolling through for other horror books. Uh, I noticed one went to that that uh, artist actual page. I noticed that they've got other ones as well. Um, there is this one. And then there's these as well. So it's a huge collection. See if I can get them all on it to all together. Um, but this video will be mainly Freak of Monsters. And then these two will be following on for, for the next couple of days. So a nice uh, range of books. So I'll get started with doing the flip through for this one. So this is uh, Freak of Monster by Crook Crook. That's the name of the uh publisher or person of the artist's work in here. Um, it's a nice size book so I'll get started because I've had a flip through with all, all the books and they look absolutely incredible. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people going and getting some of these books. I was thinking about getting a couple of sets actually so because this looks so good. So you get your title page, your test colour page, and then what I like about this book is you get your image. And don't get me wrong, images are absolutely fantastic, no problems with line work. The paperwork is just like uh, a bit like Coco Wyo's paper, maybe a bit thinner, but not as too thin. Uh, where you're able to use any mediums, but just be careful of bleed through. But there's also, they've put these little quotations on back of each page. Uh, so like, sometimes human places create inhuman monsters. Um, so I'll read them as I'm going along anyway, just to make it interesting. So that's this page. And then the next page is this one. Real monsters eat you from the inside out. Run before it's too late. But the wolf, the wolf only needs enough luck to find you once. And the artwork's amazing. If you believe that the natural world is good, then you must also accept its brutality. Monsters come in all shapes and sizes. Brutality. It came from the woods, most strange things do. And that reminds me of the, uh, there's a film called, oh, the, oh, I forgot what it's called. The, the, it's that we are, something like the, the ruin or something like that, but it's in woods and it's backpackers travelling and they see something like that. It's like a, a deer cross it looks like a deer but it's got a head on it as well it's weird uh, in one swift moment it devoured him whole sounds a little human but the worst kind of monster was the burrowing kind the sort that crawled into you and made a home there Ooh, nasty it's not like out of Resident Evil <laughs> but it's so gruesome that I like this kind of stuff I just need to colour in them a lot more. Uh, you can breathe, you can blink, you can cry. Hell, you're all going to be doing that. <laughs> when he has lost all hope, all objects in life, man becomes a monster in his misery. What would an ocean be without a monster lurking in the dark? It would be like sleep without dreams. The very last thing you'll ever see. This one reminds me of the uh, film that made me absolutely scared out of my skin. It's the only film that's ever scared me. And it was called Deep Rising. <laughs> big sea creature on a big cruise ship. With tentacles that look like that. <laughs> uh, every monster was a man first. Adventures are fun until you meet death. I'd be really interested in my uh, fellow members in my horror group to 
you know, collect, get all of these books and see what they do with them. The moment you think you are safe, think again. Steer clear of that hollowed glance. It may very well be the last thing you'll see. Real monsters eat you from the inside out. I'm sure that one's been said before. Sometimes fate means you're, you're getting devoured. One wrong step and that bloom will be your doom. Sometimes monsters don't come from beneath us. In space no one can hear you scream. A big black hole. We are scared of centipedes for a good reason. Venture the night at your own peril. Half human, half fish, all fear. One moment the sea was raging, the next there was only death. Few lived to tell the tale, I was not one of them. <laughs> when it comes for you, you will wish you were already dead. Imagination creates some big monsters. A monster horrendous, hideous and vast, deprived of sight. You'll run, you'll die, you'll stay, you die. If it wanted you badly for your flesh and bones. He trembles as death welcomes him. You can run but you can't hide. And then most of the time you are not the hero in your story. You can see. And now, aim for the head or you're dead. The night can bring both serenity and death. I'm sure that reminds me, it looks like, uh, is it Cloverfield? And a bit a bit of uh, Resident Evil, but Cloverfield, it's its, it's its face. I think it's Cloverfield. I think that's meant to be termed. What's scarier, getting eaten alive or trying to stay alive? I think it's meant to be that way. Those are not trees. I'm sure that I heard that in uh, King Kong. It was King Kong. Big like spider things. Some dragons bring you luck. Others just want to swallow you alive. So cool. And that's the end of that one. The world is your oyster. So you get a few images on back like uh, you do on Coco Wyo's books. Uh, here it says monsters are products of our imagination but what if they are were real and what if one had you cornered with its fangs set on your flesh and soul. Find out the answer yourself by colouring nightmarish creatures in this freak of monster horror colouring book. These illustrations will not only send you chills down your spine, but will also provide stress relief and relaxation as you'll call it to your heart's content. There we have it. So I definitely want to add to your collection if you're into that kind of thing, like myself. Uh, the other books that I will be, will be following on from this. So this will be going live today, which will be the 19th. And the following ones will be 20, 21st. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, be interesting to see how many people buy this. Oh, yeah. So if you enjoyed it, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Click that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload any new content. Uh, if there's anything you want me to review or flip through, just drop me a comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can. As always, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.